I'm sick of never ever having any help but by one in a million lady Susan Chappelle was the only help that I ever got one time I mean you know my sick old friends are completely useless never help me out you know I, I don't like like a little lie like me hanging out with somebody new so that right before my birthday yeah kind of I mean she's just an acquaintance but you're just gonna give me like five bucks for me oh you know I'll get you three dollar pants uh, I mean that's fair alone to try to go out and see her is four bucks. Uh, you know, people aren't realistic. Like, you know, I need a lot more than just you know, three dollar pants. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll buy you three dollar pants. There were, there's cool. Th there were cool three dollar pants in Rainbow store. Um, I can't help it that my whole life I had no help at all that my caretakers respected and treated my grand boys like gold and me like shit. I never got any help whatsoever at all. Insulted to death having my boys at age I think seven and nine telling them to take care of me. And you know you know, you shouldn't leave a nine-year-old completely by themselves. Uh, that That's bad right there. Okay. <laughs> but to just to totally insult me all the time was not right. I'm, I'm spoken in the third person. My whole life is hell. I didn't have three major child monsters in my life, like the caretaker and pretend a lot narcissist. But then, don't forget, dead Jim. And there's two in my life. There's Uncle Jim, proper child molester me, and my husband, I found out was a child monster when I'm staying at pretend a lot um, narcissist's house. And that's all truth, not but the truth. You know, like, what can I say? You know, I mean, it's disgusting. And the one still wants to help me out, wants to take me out for a late birthday. It's gross. Oh, well, I, like, yeah, that's it. And an acquaintance that, you know, really doesn't have any money. Oh, I'll buy you. Three dollar pants. Yeah, I need a lot more than that. But that's a nice thing to say. And then what happens, you know, if, you know, she wouldn't even have my bus fare. Which would be like a reality, a possible reality. Um, whatever. Um, I'm just so disgusted with my life. My life is so disgusting, I have nothing to do with it. Except, I'm a lady who should never have been born. And, Bible makes no sense, because that's in the Ecclesiastes. Man should never have been born because of the evil deeds done under the sun, and then later on, so I should just do that go through Bible verses and make my point. The Bible con contradicts itself. Solomon's supposed to be the wisest man, well then why do he contradict himself with that? Well, it's better that you're alive than at the end of Ecclesiastes. And yeah, I repeat myself all the time. I'm boring, like, you know, but none of the denying insane abusers in my life like my dead husband, like pretend a lot narcissist ever heard me. And that's like years of abuse from them. And then just so on and so forth, you know, it's, 
Everyone might, yeah, but it's sad that most people are nothing. I mean, they, you know, a real victim needs help. There is no help for real victims like me. My entire existence, I'm a victim. And I can go and uh, argue with uh, the young chosen one, the elect of God. I mean, it doesn't look like, you know. Okay, there's these different chosen ones. And they act like, oh, you know. I want them all to get together. And Smith concert. <laughs> I especially want uh, Terry Jerry Jr., who's against concert, to smoke it. Okay. Um, they should all get together, you know, and talk, you know, have like a little, you know, that'd be interesting, uh, pretty boss, Jordan the Great, Jordan the Chosen, smoking pot, hey, what are you, what are you, what's Jordan, the Chosen and Victoria Hunt doing, oh, they're smoking pot, they're smoking concert. Well, that's wrong, and then Trent shouting if he says he's chosen, I'm not sure, but Trent Genius does. I wonder how many of them want, Chuck James Jr. would say, no, yeah, that's wrong. Um. Whatever, um, nobody knows what one's life is. They're not with them 24-7, but then you have all these super insane people, like, pretend a lot narcissist that doesn't even know what took place. So he's completely unreliable, and how a person like that, how... Super delusional person can actually have a job. Well, maybe that's why they fired him. Well, I don't know if he has a job anyway. I mean, he, he just lies to me all the time. Yeah, I, I'm just useless. And he knows I hate my, his guts. Well, of course I would. He abused me to death. I, you know, like, but he can't admit to that. Uh, uh, um, but this is Satan's world, so you the one, Satan damns to hell, the sin cursed earth, where insane abusers, like, pretend a lot narcissists, do whatever the hell they want. They, he didn't have to face one consequence of harming me. There is no karma in this world. And I prove it with pretend a lot narcissist who was my recent abuser. I mean, he attacked me to death. Spiritually. And, uh... Mm -hmm. He's nothing. He is... an empty vessel. But absolutely hates himself. So, he literally is a little black hole void that really doesn't exist. And they're like little bed bugs that are dormant. I don't even know how black holes work, but maybe, like, if, if there's something alive around the little bed bug that's dormant underneath the table, underneath one of your they hide underneath underneath the bed. Just the bed. Yeah, but underneath a frame, underneath something, a human being walks into the room. They they're alerted. They they're alive. Just, they they like sense heat. And they wake up after uh, at least they could be there a year or longer. And they'll wake up to go and try to find you, the heat source, and suck your blood. That's, that's what narcissists are. That's what insane abusers are. Just 
they're there to put you down in every way possible. But then they lo they're able to manipulate and lie and put on a bunch of charm out in public. But it didn't stay too long with them and find out just how awful they really are. I'm just disgusted because, uh, you know, I got a tiny bit of help. But look, I, I, I mean, I'm still, like, fighting with this town. Like, there is no help in this town. You know, like, I'm wrong. There were 18, there were 18 years of illegally being labeled. But that, that was even... I don't even know when that stopped. You know, I, I don't even have my medical records. They're supposed to be... I asked for them. August 1st. Yeah, I'm, I'm not helped out whatsoever at all. Totally illegally labeled and all this illegal lies were worked against me. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know money. I, don't know. Uh, I mean... Man, that's why I didn't like my God, and I don't believe half the Bible. Like, uh, Herod dropped dead and turned into worms, or Moses dropped a stick and it magically turned into a snake. I don't know, maybe Moses was a fucking ma magician, warlock. Wow, he cares. Like, none of the stories in the Old Testament make any sense. So, whatever. The majority of this world sucks. And, you know, the rich people don't have a, uh, I mean, that's really mean. They, they should be mad because most of them use other people. To have their riches, they should feel bad about it. People do. This world's totally wrong. It's Satan's. And uh, yeah, you know, I hope I meet somebody who feels sorry for me and actually helps me out. I mean, that's the only way I can think that I can actually be able to make it. Pretend all narcissist is still there. It's like, what the hell, man? Yeah, he, he knew from day one when he took me up from Delaware that I hated him. Why wouldn't I? He abused me to death. Four straight months in a row. God, big fucking gallon of fucking vanilla ice cream with honey. Who gives a fuck? Eating that much at one time. Oh my god. A whole tub of Turkey Hill ice cream. A little bit more than that. And it just... A pound of honey on it. On, on top of all that. You know, that's how he eats. He won't eat for a week. And all of a sudden he did it. Well, I thought I'd see you today. I mean, that's just... He's fucked up. I mean, I... I just gorge, gorging and eating. And it's just fucked up. Whatever. I don't have anything better to do. I eat it. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> um. Little ice creams. Alright. What's the world? I don't know. I was so traumatized by them. It didn't, it didn't affect me. <laughs> Ice cream's supposed to be bad for you, maybe the honey counteracted the... Ice cream's supposed to be the worst, um, milk product. Milk's not that good for you. Whatever. I mean, sounds okay. 